In this video, we're finally ready to prove that a language is not regular. And we're going to prove that using the notion of clogged that we just introduced in the previous video. So in general, if we want to prove that some language is clogged, we have to be able to pick a word for any uh, length p. You have to be able to clog a la that language l with the word that we pick. So we are the one who select that word and we will be able to craft a certain string that will clog. That means that for some variation of, of Y, uh, the new language is not in L. It's the basic intuition. So these three items are in fact the three items here in this inductive definition. So how do we usually clog a, a non-regular language? Well, the way we clog it is we have to use these three assumptions to our advantage. And generally, the whole proof hinges on using the length p to craft a special string. So, to go back to L1, which is the language that we're trying to show, this language, we're trying to show that is not regular we will select the n, the power that we're uh, selecting, right? So we can pick any, any number of zeros in number of ones, right? We're gonna select the number of zeros to be p, the length of the pumping, uh, the pumping length. And why do we do that? Well, the reason we will do that is because if you think about it, x, y, so the part that includes the, the loop, loop is the y part, is gonna be always smaller or equal than p, which means that if we fix our string to have at least zero, sorry, p zeros, that means that the x, y portion will constitute of only zeros. And that is really good for us because when we pump y a number of times, z will remain intact, which means that z will have some z's, some zeros, and a fixed number of, of ones, right? P ones. But if we, let's say, duplicate Y to be twice, that means we're now gonna have more zeros than ones, right? Because X and Y only contain zeros, and it only contains zeros because we, we crafted the string in such a way that enforces this idea. So finally, because there are more zeros than ones, once we duplicate y, then the string generated x, y, y, z will not belong in L1. That's the main idea of the proof. And in the next following slides, what I'm going to show you is very precisely how to do this um, written in a pen and paper proof. So how do we prove this? We pick the string to be 0p, 0 to the p and 1 to the p, and we show that it must clog L. Okay. So first thing we need to prove, there are three things that we need to prove according to our, our these, um, these three items, right? First, we pick the string and we show that it belongs to L. Second, we must talk about the length. And finally, we, the interesting part is showing that it clogs the language. Okay. So showing that the word is in L1 is easy because the number of zeros is the same as the numbers of one. So this would be an easy proof to make. Secondly, we must show that w, the length of the string we chose, which is 0 to the p and 1 to the p, is greater or equal than p, which holds because, as we know, there are two p's. So there are p zeros and p ones. So the length of w is, in fact, 2p, which is greater or equal than p. So finally, we need to prove that the string belongs to the clogged version of L. So to be able to prove that, we need to, given some division of, of our string, which we don't know, we don't know how the string is going to be divided. So let's say there's some x, y, and z. And since that x and y is smaller or equal than p, and y is the length of y is greater than 0, we must show that there exists some i, some power, such that x, y to that power, z, does not belong in L1. 
and the y the i that we choose is actually going to be 2 as we saw before right we want to duplicate the y x y y z so we're going to pick for this i we're going to pick 2 so if we think about it we can divide uh, p you can think of p as an addition because p is greater or equal than 1 right we can think of p as an addition of two natural numbers right so you can think of the first a to be uh, the portion that consists of x and y and b to be the remaining that is part of z so in general our string is going to be a, a portion that is going to be x y and that is going to have a zeros and then a portion for z is going to include zero or more um, zeros and a plus b once right so this is just replacing uh, p by a plus b and then separating putting in evidence the z part from the x y part so this is just a ref rephrasing of what we just said before because we know that a equals the length of x y we can just replace a by the length of x y in both terms so now what we have is we have a portion with b and then a portion with the length of x y plus a portion with b so we're gonna we're gonna show now that if we pick i to be 2 then the string on the left that has twi two y's does not belong in L1, right? So note that now I have, because I duplicated the y's, now I have x, uh, the number of zeros to be the length of x, y, y. And the remaining z is the same. z remains the same. So it's going to be exactly what we had before here in this portion, right? So this is the same, and here the only thing we added was a number of y that consists of only zeros. So we represent that using the power. Okay, thus, if we want to prove this, it is enough to show, right, that the powers, the power of zero, has to be different than the power of one, right? So if we add x to y, y, and then b, this portion, if we can show that that is different than x, y plus b, then it entails that the string does not belong in L1, which is what we're trying to prove. Okay. So now what we do is we just simplify the expression and we subtract x, y plus b on both sides. And what we get in the end is just that the length of y must be different than zero. And that, as we looked before, is one of the assumptions. One of the assumptions is that the length of y has to be different than zero. Where is it? Ah, here it is, h3. The length of y has to be greater than zero, so it's different than zero. So in our next video, what we're going to see is how do we prove this using the cock proof assistance.